hello everyone welcome to this video now in this video i'm going to show you how to build a laravel 10 and react js application and what this application is going to showcase here is it's going to showcase the product list uh, different products and of course you're going also to build the login and register for this given application so it's basically a simple application but it's going to utilize a powerful concepts that you may want to own them, uh, for example, the login, registration, and so forth. So what the application does here is very simple. So what it does is just to display different products. That is the name, the product detail, and of course the price, and you can edit and delete that given product. Now this uh, application is, is based on a given application that we had created here whereby we created, uh, we learned how to create an e-commerce app with Laravel 10 and Vue.js 3. And also we, get, we got to learn how to create an API from scratch using Laravel 10. You may want to check these videos out. And then of course, uh, so here this application actually is utilizing the backend of what we created here. So the Laravel that we created here, which has of course the product name, the the detail and the price is the same that I've used here, only that I've now changed the front end framework from uh, Vue.js to React.js. So, basically, what does this product do? So, we can just look at this one in detail. So, here you can come and register for this product. So, you can come here and, uh, for example, uh, sorry, here we need to register. So, here I can have John, and then here we have uh, John to gmail and then here we have the password like that now when you hit uh, enter this person means this person is already uh, registered so let me just choose another name here so we can use um, a jane for example and then here we have a jane like that and let's register that so once you register the person is registered in this application then you are now taken to the add product route whereby now here you can come and add a given a product here now since i'm already logged into this application i already have a login credential let me just come to the login here and here i just have a brand at gmail.com and then here i have a password here so now when I log in, you see I'm brought, now I'm taken to the add product, which is of course the route here. And then we have this logout button like that. Uh, so here I can just come here and add the product as I was trying to add before. So here we have a Dell uh, laptop. And then here we have the price, we can have that. Now when you submit this one, the product of course is uh, is added to our front-end side and you can see the product is this one here so what you can do here you can edit that given product by clicking on the edit button so here you can come here and change the price let's say here you change the price to 99 you can do that and if you save you can see the product has been uh, changed to 99 and then here you can also come and delete that product and it will be deleted successfully now what else can you do so you can add product you can edit delete as well as you can just come here and log out remember when you log out this one will clear your um, local uh, storage of course and then you're logged out of this application so this application may appear simple, but it is going to utilize uh, much because here we are going to use now uh, React.js and Laravel 10 so that we can now pull the products which are from the backend to the front end using React.js. Now, before we begin with this application, we are going to look at some of the concepts that we are going to use within our given application. So for example, we are going to have a small crash course video whereby we are going to look at just small items such as our use state hook. We are also going to look at the use effect hook as well as the, uh, we also have what we call the, the value and on change whereby we get to look at when a user tries to type a product, there, there is an input that is an input change that is detected so that, for example, let's say if it's a name of a product is updated uh, 
successfully based on what the user types within a given form. We're also going to look at that one, just a small video, and then from there we can continue. However, if you are already conversant with the React JS, you may just go to the you may just keep the video for creating this entire uh, project. So let's get started.